In this video, me and my sister will be talking about all the new items and POIs in Chapter 5, Season 2. So let's get to it. There are four new POIs, the Underworld, Grim Gate, Mount Olympus, and Baller's Battleground. In the Underworld, you can interact with the statue and will start a battle with Hades. When fighting Hades, you will be able to defeat two waves of Hades' henchmen. Then you will be able to fight Hades himself. Once you fight Hades, you'll be rewarded with the medallion and a mythic Harbinger SMG. We'll talk about the different types of medallions later. What we'll be talking about is Grim Gate. You will also have to interact with the statue in order to initiate the next battle. In Grim Gate, you have to fight Cerberus, which is also the tier one battle pass skin. You'll get two waves of wolves and then you'll be able to defeat Cerberus. Once you have defeated Cerberus, you'll be rewarded with one of the new special medallions and a mythic gatekeeper shotgun. The next POI we're going to be talking about is Brawler's Battleground. Once you make it to Brawler's Battleground, you're going to have to activate a statue just like all the new POIs. Then after you do that, you'll have to defeat two waves of minions just like Hades. After you do that, then you'll have to fight Ares and then after you defeat Ares, you'll be rewarded with the mythic Warforged AR and one of the new special medallions. Now the final POI I'm going to be talking about is Mount Olympus. Once you arrive at Mount Olympus, you'll see a statue there. Once you activate that statue, then Zeus will appear. You'll be greeted with two waves of his minions. And you'll have to defeat Zeus not once, but twice. Once you've defeated Zeus, you'll be rewarded with the new Mythic Huntress DMR for DMR lovers just like my sister. You'll also get one of the new special form medallions and the Zeus Lightning Bolt. Now let's give it to my sister. Let's talk about these new special medallions. These new medallions are not like other medallions from Chapter 5 Season 1. Instead of getting a certain amount of shield, each medallion from each of the bosses has a different ability. Next is a medallion from Ares in the Brawler's Battleground that gets you the aspect of combat. This gives ranged weapons increased damage. Then is the medallion from Cerberus and Grimgate, which gives you the aspect of agility. This gives you dash bursts that are quick when obtained. Then the last medallion is the aspect of Siphon, which can be obtained from Hades in the Underworld. We haven't had a Siphon in regular BR since Chapter 1. If you don't know what Siphon is, it gives you health and shield back when getting enemy eliminations. Now let's give it back to my sister. Now let's get to the new weapons in the new season right now. Next is the Harbinger SMG. It gives you a little bit of higher accuracy when you fire, but that is quickly reversed when you find out the recoil of Bloom increased the more you use it. If you want the Mythic variant, you have to defeat Hades in the Underworld. Next is the Huntress DMR. This gun is Artemis' gun that replaces her bow and arrows, but she still has arrows on her character. Confusing, right? If you love DMRs, then this is the perfect gun for you, just like my sister. It is best used for longer range gameplay. In order to get this mythic variant, you have to defeat Zeus rather than Artemis. It is a gatekeeper shotgun, which you can obtain the mythic version from defeating Cerberus. The shotgun quickly fires three shotgun rounds. The reason why there are three quick bursts is because the gun is themed around Cerberus, the three-headed guard dog. Now the last weapon I'm going to be talking about in today's video is the Warforged AR. This weapon represents Ares because Ares is the god of war. In my opinion, the Warforged AR is one of my favorite ARs added to the game because of its high damage and high rate of fire. But one of the cons of this weapon is how real, how strong this recoil is. After getting used to controlling this weapon though, it's really good. If you want the mythic variant, you have to defeat Ares, which is, if you have the aspect of combat, you can really improve the mythic variant even more, as long as regular variants. Now I'm going to be talking about the Thunderball of Zeus. This lets you wield Zeus's lightning bolts. When you use this Olympian power, you will rise up into the air and fire three lightning bolts towards your enemies. Once you have fired the first two bolts, you will become very vulnerable before you fire your third bolt. I suggest using this power once you are once you're third parting other teams. After you use this once of the three uses, you'll have a cooldown between each use. Next is the wings of Icarus. 
This paddle lets you fly into the air. This power is also a great mobility item. Once you have this power gripped, you can fly into the air and use the dive bomb to crash on enemies or just to quickly land. If you fly for too long, which you can tell by the numbers going down on the bottom right of the Wings of Icarus icon, your wings will burn up and will take fall damage if you're high enough. One of the cons of this item is that your hitbox is extremely big because your wings count as your hitbox, so you can become extremely vulnerable. The final item I'm going to be talking about is the Chains of Hades. The Chains of Hades has not, has not come out yet, although it has been confirmed to be coming later in the season. This Olympian power will be able to function like a long range grapple, but being able to pull in your enemies closer while dealing damage but these functions are not totally concrete. So now let's look at the gameplay for this new season. Let's, let's break this. Dead. That took um, way longer than I expected. No. Really low. Yes, I got a shotgun. Okay, that's good. Um, I like this. Oh shoot, 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 oh shoot. Oh, I. Oh, let's go. I forgot to buy the battle pass. I just me. I gotta do that sometime. Okay. Hopefully, when it comes here, because then that's a that's not gonna be good. Let's see. Let's see. Oh shoot. Oh yeah. I tagged him. Oh shoot, this is not good. This is not good. I'm oh let's go. Okay, go. Let's get out. Ow, 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 please. Oh, oh my gosh. That could, oh, let's go. Oh, I might have angered the NPC a little bit. Oh, I, can I switch? Wait, did I kill somebody? Oh, they ran out. 25 dead. God, no way, no way, no way. Close that up. Yes, okay. I 
it's a 1v1. I have a feeling this kid's gonna use the... I'm going, I'm going. Yes! 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 Topula. Uh oh, I.